When you were a kid, you grew up in Saco, Maine. Um, That's correct. Which is kind of like, I mean, Arcata and Saco are both, you know, towns of about 15,000. Uh, seaside town, there used to be uh, a lot of mills around here, used to be a lot of mills in Saco. Um, the difference, though, from West Coast to East Coast is that, you know, East Coast seems to have so much more, like, like there's a lot of U.S. history, like Saco's in York mm -hmm. County, mm -hmm. which is like, one of the oldest counties in the country. It was founded in the 1630s. Look. Wow. That's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of U.S. This history. That's really smart, dude. <laughs> Thanks, I Wikipedia. Tell. I can tell. Thanks, yeah. Wikipedia. Uh, but here's, so my question is, when you grow up, like, yeah. when you grow up, you don't, um, you, you don't, you know, there's a way to look at it like this is just where you're from. If you, if you grow up in Paris, you might not know it's an awesome city. Um, when you grow up in a place with a lot of, um, of history the way that, that Sacco has, does it permeate into what you do now as a songwriter? Is it, is it part of it or do you just walk around going, this is just my town? Well, I, I think that like when I came here today, I did not feel like, oh, it's just like Sacco, but on the <laughs> West Coast. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel, you know, having grown up in Saco, I think that, well, it, when you uh, are from the East Coast and there's all that history, I think there's a bit of sort of button-down-ness that goes along sometimes with being from the East Coast and a sort of, you know, not, not politically conservative, but sort of like aesthetically conservative, you know, just the way we dress and the kind of, I don't know, there's a sort of introverted uh, <laughs> character to the state of Maine. You know, people don't necessarily embrace other people, and it's not, it's, it, but it, you know what it comes from is, I, I believe, and I, I feel this, comes from a spirit of authenticity, like you don't, you know, you don't act like you know somebody if you don't know them, and I, and I think, like as I've traveled, and I, I, I've actually come to realize there are people that I meet, and I feel like I know, I know them, and I believe that now, that it's possible to know somebody from one meeting, and, it, and it's this kind of spiritual connection you sometimes feel without having the history with people, but in Maine, I think the culture is more like, no, that's not the case. You need to, you need to really have been here a long time for us to get to know you. And, and it, so it feels different. You, you said that you like touring uh, on the eastern seaboard and that you also, uh, you said, I like touring in the east and I also like northern California. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, so, yay us. Uh, yeah. what, is it about, what is it about northern California? Well, I... So I just feels good here. I don't. I mean, I I feel comfortable. I feel like uh, I get the sense there's an open-mindedness to this this place, at least this town, and to the Bay Area. And um, you know, I find that it's more artistically driven rather than like uh, in terms of the music. It's not about the music industry here in Arcata, and I like that. You know, I like playing places that are not about. Uh, you know, well, gee, maybe there's a talent scout out there and they're going to change your life, you know, but rather we're here to connect with each other. It's uh, Katie Curtis on Upstage Live as you're just tuning in. And if you're listening on the radio, you can go over to khum.com and you can watch because we got cameras and video streaming here. So, uh, Katie Curtis, why don't you play some more songs? Thank you very much. I'd like to bring uh, Jenna Linbo back out for this next song. Jenna's going to join me uh, on the banjo this time as well as I'm singing. Every single time I, I tell my sister about all the difficulties of having a six-year-old and an eight-year-old, she just laughs because her kids have been through some rough teenage years. This is called Be 16 With Me and it's written by Don White. Our kids are grown and now they're in their 20s. They live at home, they're never gonna leave. Why should they go? They got a good So 
all night. But we'll be standing right beside them while they're on the phone, smoking and drinking and carrying on. And when we come strolling in on Sunday morning, around 10 o'clock while the neighbors walk to church, kids will ask us where we've been, and then they'll ask us again. And we'll just make up a great big lie and swear that it's the truth until the day we die. And they'll be the ones trying to find the truth about. We'll be the ones lying through our teeth. Wake up, mama, climb out of this window. Come on out and be 16 with me. Curtis on Upstage Live.